So let's start off with write this as a heading profit and loss. After that, right side key points. After you write that, below put a bullet point. Okay, now write the price given to a object by a seller. Is known as its cost price. Okay, so the price given to an object by a seller is known as its cost price. What I mean by that is so basically the price given to an object to buy it is given by a seller meaning a person who either has made the object or is making the object available to sell to you people meaning that you can buy the object is known as its cost price so for example take a person at the market gives a price for a notebook and says the price is 50 rupees and you want to buy it okay 50 rupees is the cost price of the notebook okay okay now write a second bullet point and write down the price given to a object by you and selling it is called the selling price selling price of the object let me repeat myself the price given to an object by you and selling it is called the selling price of the object. So for example, you buy an app item, which is the same notebook, which costs 50 rupees, and you sell it, but with a new price of 60 rupees. That new price is called the selling price. Now let's go, you know, now let's talk about profit and loss. I'm going to write a bullet point here, okay? But you write it directly underneath this one, okay? Okay. I'm going to write it here, but you write it directly under this one, okay? So, if...
if the cost price is greater than the selling price then you get loss let me repeat myself if the cost price is greater than the selling price then you get loss So, what I mean by if the cost price is greater than the selling price, then you get losses. Basically, let's take the same example. You buy a notebook for 50 rupees, which is its cost price, but you sell it to another person for 40 rupees, which is the selling price. So, if you minus 50, from 40 then you get 10 which means that you got a loss of 10 rupees or you could write it as negative 10 rupees now you have written down all these points right Yes. Okay. So after this point, right underneath it, this time, if the selling price is greater than the cost price you get profit let me repeat myself if the selling price is greater than the cost price you get profit I'm going to repeat myself again. If the selling price is greater than the cross cost price, you get profit. Now, this is going to be the end of your notes. Let me just explain this. Now, what I mean by this is the cost price is 40 rupees and the selling price is 50, 60 rupees. Okay, that means the selling price is greater than the cost price which would mean you get profit. Me meaning that subtract the selling price from the cost price and you would get 20 rupees of profit. You could write it as 20 rupees plus or just write rupees 20. It's not necessary to write it, but if you want to, you can write it for a little helping in the explanation. So now, anyways, that's the end of your notes, and we will discuss on unitary method, which is also there in your chapter, a, le a later time. So, do you understand everything clearly? Yes. Okay, now let's move on to the chess part of our studies. So now I'm gonna share my screen. Would you just give me one second? I'm actually using a tablet to write it over here. So I need to change the tablet with a mouse to explain you. Yes. Okay. So, do you know the platform chess.com? 
Do you know the platform chess.com? Yes, I know it. Do you have an account? No, I don't have. Then do you think